Attorney Torres is part of uh, Peña Mancero, which is a law firm located in Bogotá, and they are our allies for co the Colombian market to become one of the top 50 law firms in Colombia. They are all members of the International Bar Association, the Commercial Law Association, and the Bar Association of Mines and the local chambers of commerce. Particularly, we want to start to understand first what is or how is that a foreigner can invest in, the, in Colombia if I want to, to, to make a startup in Colombia. What should I do? First, it's important to highlight that we are welcome all kind of foreign investment uh, without any restrictions, only for investments in defense and national security and processing of disposal of radioactive waste is prohibited. So they say that in Colombia it's quite easy to set up and register a company. First of all, you have to do, do give the grant of attorney, drawing the company articles, execution the incorporation to another public, filling the incorporation to a chamber of commerce, registering that incorporation, opening the bank account, and giving the tax information to the representative and to the company, and then re register to the um, chamber of commerce. Regarding okay. the the holding companies, there is a, a lot of benefits from that. For example, the income tax on from capital and income from abroad is not taxed. That's quite interesting. Do you know of any particular incentive that is open for foreigners? There is a, a, a tax reform that basically eliminate all kind of that incentive in particular um, areas. Uh -huh. and, and on the contrary, increase occasional gains, increase introduce stock, stamp tax, eliminate of the exempt income, increase income tax for business entity, Attracting a lot of uh, yeah, foreign investment. That's quite interesting. Yes, th that's why because we we encourage um, if you want to start this in Colombia, it's, it's good to you do it from the holding companies. So it's quite good to to invest in that way. Let's move to a separate subject. Um, how complicated or easy is for a foreigner to invest in real estate in Colombia? Is it possible for me as a foreigner to do it? Are there any steps I must take in advance? You you can or share to buy whatever you want on, on real estate. But because of our particular region, it is important that you can do a prior due diligence, do a really good study on, to identify if there is any irregularity during these transfers. And also it's important that you do it anti-money laundering, circular and fault. And after that, it's, it's quite simple. The real estate decision, you carry out through a public guarantee before an authority public and record it with the public instrument office. And the notary public will request you a number of supporting documents, proof of property, tax payment, proof of payment, and, and transfer tax. Okay. It's quite convenient because then you guarantee uh, the new owner that you will, or they will receive a property that is clear of any inconvenience uh, related to title or any other debt that the property may have. Uh, having said that, you already mentioned holding companies as an advantage. Would you advise a foreigner to invest uh, in real estate in Colombia? to buy real estate as a private person or under a holding company in Colombia? Well, we normally recommend that you, you are far as possible. If, you, if you're going to do an investment, you do it as an of company, whether it's foreign. Okay. There is no, not only because of the, the benefits you highlight, it is because you protect the owner from the, from the claims, from the future claims about the properties. Yes. You consolidate econ as, and span up the ownership in one entity. You can lower your, your taxes for the or the yeah. impact due to the the to civility of expenses and back discount. If you do it as a as a person, you you cannot do that. And uh -huh. thing, you avoid succession costs. And another thing that that is better to do it as a, as a company. Something else you mentioned is that you can own property on the name or on behalf of foreign companies. Do you need to domicile or register a foreign company in Colombia in order to have title of a property? No, no, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not it, the only thing you, you have to do is to re register the foreign uh -huh. investment. Okay, That's okay. The only requirement you can, you, you, you have to do. What would you say about the tax system in general? You just mentioned that you have a universal tax system. So I'm guessing that uh, income tax, for example, if I buy a uh, rental property, a property that I want to rent, will, the, the, I, I will need to consider uh, income tax on that rent, right? The occasional gain to sell that property is 50%. But income uh -huh. tax for the rent is 35%. Uh, let me ask you now, uh, what about uh, property taxes? Well, it is depend on the region. That's interesting. That's interesting. It, it has to give you uh, uh, an exact number because it will depend. 
good to know. So at the moment of investing in real estate, a client should first approach uh, that particular region and ask what property tax it will be there. So that will be a surprise later, a surprise later on, right? Yes, it's advisable. Yes. A couple of last points. Uh, what would you say are Peña Mancero's uh, three flagship services, particularly those aimed uh, at international clients? Like most of the other, we are a full service firm for foreign investment, whether they are individual or per company. They work, okay. they provide comprehensive support in the creation and maintenance of the company. All that you need, we do it. All that you need to do in, in, in Colombia to protect your investment, we can do it. We highlight the following, that is due diligence study on the ownership of real estate. That is really important. Anti-money laundering and funds or in due diligence, the drafting and registration of the contracts and deed, and the foreign investment registration. That is an, another issue that is very important. Okay, that's that's really good. Thank you, Mauricio. Are there any other contributions you can uh, consider convenient to mention? That was all. Thank you for the, the interview, Emilio. Glad to know. Thank you, Mauricio, for your time. Bye-bye.